thank you very much for, for skipping the, the sunshine outside to, to, to come and listen to this. Uh, I'll try and keep it light and not, not, not too challenging before lunch uh, to try and uh, keep, keep you awake. And um, I'm happy to take questions as we go along, but I'm not sure how that fits with, with, the, with, with the logistic arrangements. Um, I also probably have too many slides, so um, I'll either speed up if, if we get too many questions. Um, I don't think I'll need to slow down, so, but you'll have to slow me down. So um, my, my talk is entitled Engineering Software for Living in Cyber-Physical Social Spaces. Um, I've underlined the word living because I think essentially my talk is not really about software engineering and it's not even necessarily about technology and, and computing. Um, and I don't say that because that's not where I, my interests are. My interests are very much in software engineering. But I think software engineering needs to change and adapt to try and um, accommodate what is happening in the world that we live in at the moment. Um, the, the, the impact of technology and computing and software is actually becoming so, so indistinguishable from the way we live that I think as software engineers, we need to recognize that we are almost engineering ways of living and not just engineering software. So our focus should be on designing computing devices on, com on computation, but it should also be about understanding exactly what kind of effect this, this is going to have in the world. And we used to abdicate responsibility and think that that maybe is the, is the, is the role of somebody else of, or, or society somehow, the stakeholders. But I think we have as much responsibility for engineering the way we live as, 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 uh, as we have in engineering software. And that's potentially quite a controversial view for people who think that software is about just producing the code. So um, th th this is, I, I suppose, I don't need to, to, to tell you this, but the world that we live in is, ha has a physical dimension, of course, to it. And we are, we are social animals, and so we have social relationships with each other. But, but technology is not separate from that. It is actually either enabling the facilitation, it's changing the kinds of things that we do, and it, ch it changes where, who we can talk to and how we talk to them. So th this notion of how we live, as I said, is quite critical. And so the question is, as software engineers, how can we engineer software without the boundaries that have traditionally um, constrained what we build. Um, we, we talk about the boundaries of, of the software system, the boundaries of the world that we deal in, but actually, potentially, software has no boundaries. And it's the notion of boundaries that some of you have heard me speak about before that I'd like to develop in, the, in this talk. Um, and and the, fact that the, the fact that software without boundaries adds new challenges to software engineering that we might want to think about. And so, um, because this is a keynote and not a technical presentation, I will give myself the luxury of speculating a little bit, as well as giving you some empirical evidence of some of the things that I'm saying. But I don't.